So, <clears throat> once again, everyone, just a reminder, I'm not doing this to get uh, YouTube rich or famous or anything like that. All I care about is getting information out. So, but I've been preaching this for about three weeks now, and you can go through mainstream conservatives, what they're talking about, and uh, they keep ignoring Georgia. And I said it, I predicted most of this stuff would happen. Uh, first off, now they're saying the GOP, unless they pass the stimulus check thing, they're probably going to lose Georgia, which is speculation. Uh, not really any correlation, but it does make sense. And then there's this. So the GOP are now 0-5 in lawsuits about the Georgia election. And then this one right here. I knew that this would come up. So, um, and this is what you get with an ambiguous law, a screwed up DOJ. And I don't get it because the law is supposed to be free from passion and emotion. But, uh, so Georgia blocks residency challenges. Uh, let me see, blah, 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 to allow 4,000 votes whose eligibility was being challenged ahead of next week's runoff. Uh, they blocked the election boards from forcing them to, pr to prove their residency before casting ballots. The judge ruled that denying so many voters access to ballots so close to an election would likely violate the National Voter Registration Act. So it violates, okay, so they're going to, now, they're citing a federal law for a state election. So now the federal law is uh, overruling the state constitution and their state voting laws, which I've videoed on that you cannot vote in a Georgia runoff unless you are eligible for the primary. So asking for proof, what the hell? I mean, isn't that what the law is supposed to do? Work on facts and proof? But it's not. It's just running on emotion and media-induced fear and panic and feeling. There's nothing wrong with this. If you have a problem with this, it's because you're part of the corrupt system. I mean, it just makes no sense. And then this goes back to the Supreme Court ruling that people had an issue with. The ruling wasn't with the Constitution. But now this kind of goes against their ruling because now they're letting a National Voter Registration Act, which is a federal law, override a state law from their constitution. But I thought the states were allowed to make their own laws as long as they were in line with the constitution. Well, if the constitution says states can make their own laws, why is this an issue? So this is how screwed up this country is.